Hello everyone, I'm Karen Schroeder. I'm Professor of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry in Strasbourg in France, a member of the French Society of Child and Adolescent Psychiatry, board member of ESCAP and YACAPAP, and I'm also the current president of the UMS CAP section. I'm very excited to have the local organizing committee to host you all here in my home city in Strasbourg for the next ESCAP 2025 meeting. Our Congress will take place from the 29th of June to the 1st of July 2025, dedicated to the topic Beyond Nature and Nurture, as already explained by Bruno and by Jörg. And what better place than Strasbourg to discuss these intrications in this historic city, which is located in the center of Europe and which symbolizes our commitment to unity, collaboration and shared intelligence. We're standing here um, close to the Pont Couvert, uh, constructed in the 13th century, which are still covered, uh, called Covered Bridge, though so the house lost actually their roof uh, in the 18th century. And we have here a beautiful view over the historic center called the Petite France, uh, a medieval part of the city, Little France, uh, and under this cathedral. Here we are right in the historic center of the Petite France uh, with this characteristic water arms, the Maison à Colombage that you see here behind us, so half timbered houses and um, these beautiful flowers and trees. So this is certainly one of the postcard views uh, of Strasbourg, its most romantic area. And the place behind us, Place Benjamin 6, has been voted into the top 20 of France's nicest squares, home to many restaurants and bars that you will certainly discover here. Most of you, when you think about Strasbourg, you will think of its magnificent cathedral, which is a masterpiece of Gothic art and architecture. Its construction started in 1015 and the top of its spire was completed in 1439. So you must come and visit its stunning outside and insides, which also include a Renaissance um, um, astronomical clock that you can see in movement every day at half past noon. Not everything in Strasbourg is from the medieval ages, so we will follow the arms of the Elbe River towards Europe's Fien district through an area called La Neustadt, the new town. Here you see the old university palace, still a site of uh, Strasbourg University, uh, in the middle of the Neustadt. So the Neustadt has been constructed in the German period in the late 19th century with wide squares, wide avenues lined, uh, with trees very spacious. And it has been set um, on the UNESCO World Heritage List in 2017. A little further down the river we come to the European district with the European Court of Human Rights, the Council of Europe and the European Parliament, which are also close to the beautiful park of the Orangerie. Also to the Palais de la Musique et des Congrès, the Congress Center, where the ESCAP 2025 meeting will take place. Only located 5 minutes by bike from the city center, 10 minutes by tram and 20 minutes um, by foot. So we are very excited and I hope I have convinced you that beyond nature and nurture there are many other things to discover here in Strasbourg and the local organizing committee is extremely happy to welcome you here and will organize social events that will you make welcome here in our city. And 
as you may have seen there's a lot of bike use here and if you're not already coming by bike yourself we will do our very best to provide you with a bicycle because this is one of the nicest ways to combine the high level scientific program you will get here um, at the Palais de la Musique et des Congrès with the visit of the city center and also its surroundings. Welcome to Strasbourg in 2025 for ESCAP.